This is one big problem Andy Cam cannot fix on his own. A plumber of 45 years in Sheffield and a victim of tool thefts from his van some six times, which has cost him thousands of pounds. People say take your tools out of the van at night time and you know, put them somewhere else. But they don't always steal your tools at night time. They steal your tools in the day when you're going to the sandwich shop. Even outside customers' houses, they, uh, they peel the doors back. There are about two or three hundred of us converging on London driving vans. Along with hundreds of tradesmen and women from right across the country, he's taken part in a mass demo. A drive to the capital to call on whoever leads the country later this summer for new laws on the resale of work tools. And he says many of the items taken are sold at car boot sales without trace. And that's something he wants banned. There's not many people do actually sell the tools. You either give it to an apprentice or give it to somebody else, or you've, you've ruined it, it's gone, it's finished. So then you'll buy a new one. When you're looking around the car boot sales, you see 10 of the same drill, same screwdriver sets, and they're all the same, and they're all pretty newish, or they've been used. So you know that a tradesman's lost those tools. It's a widespread issue, with research suggesting South Yorkshire is in the top 10 places across the country when it comes to tool theft. Figures show 62% of tradespeople in the UK have had tools stolen from their vans during their careers. Over a third have been a victim more than once. The most recent figures estimate £66 million worth of tools were stolen in 2022. These kinds of tools and equipment are not easily replaced so it's the whole livelihood of individuals which is at risk. I think anything that uh, sort of highlights the, the you know the important issues the hardship uh, that individuals then uh, have to incur as a result of this uh, you know, the Home Builders Federation would support anything in that respect. Campaigners also want to make it easier, simpler and less stressful for those claiming on insurance. The Association of British Insurers advises traders to take additional security measures, such as installing deadlocks, slam locks and alarms in vehicles to help safeguard against theft. Andy is used to putting things right. He and his workmates want the laws tightened up to protect thousands of others in the trade. Matt Price, ITV News.